Well, good, mo good morning, everyone. A very warm welcome to each and every one of you today. Um, for anybody new joining us, you are most welcome um, to be with us today. For those online, um, a warm welcome to you whenever you are watching. I don't know about you this morning, um, but I'm a bit out of puff getting here this morning and I'm sure we're all coming from different places today and um, dashing around and um, maybe maybe you've had a very relaxing morning I don't know but um, we've all come um, to worship God this morning so let's just have um, a moment of quiet as we gather together and and then I will lead us in a little prayer Thank you, Father God, for this new day. And um, may the sun, which is shining bright outside, be a reminder to us of your love for each and every one of us. And we pray that you will be with us now by your spirit as we meet together. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Um, we have quite a few notices, so you will have to um, bear with us this morning. Um, we've got um, a fair trade stall at the back on the left hand side and there are Christmas cards, little gifts, um, chocolate, all sorts of stuff at the back. If you'd like to have a peruse at that um, after the service is over that would be great. Um, another, we just a reminder that tomorrow between 12 and 2 at Emmanuel Church Centre there will be warm spaces, um, a place to go to have some soup. Um, and a warm spot and some conversation and that would be really good as well. Our magazines are available at the back of church this morning, please do take one with you. Um, the notices are out for the shoebox appeal. Um, I'm not sure when, when the service is. 3rd of December. The service here will be the 3rd of December, so if you want to take the, one of these away it will tell you what you can put in a shoebox and the shoe boxes will go off to children. Do we know where they're going? They're going to Ukraine this year, so for boys and girls, boys and girls, it will tell you all this information here. Um, it's a great thing to do and to bring a smile to faces in most difficult circumstances. Um, and I think Vic has got a notice. Yes. Morning, folks. Uh, really just a, a massive thank you to everybody that helped with the bonfire last night, it was, it was wonderful. Uh, when we started this about 10 years ago, we had 80 people, we probably tripled that last night. It was just incredible, we had a, a God-given weather window, terrific, so thank you, everything you did. Um, just three other things, there are trays at the back, if you bought pies and you left your tray, they're at the back in, in the lobby, have a look and take it back, they're cleaned. Um, thirdly, if you like black peas, uh, we have a third of a vat full. Of <laughs> and, uh, they've been kept cool, and if you'd like some either, we'll be there at two o'clock to collect, or just, just let me know anyway, they're there to take. Uh, we're dismantling the tent and clearing the site this afternoon at two o'clock. If you've got a window to help, that'd be great, just have a word with me. But thank you again for helping to make it a terrific community night. Thank you. Sorry? No more notices, have you? Yes. <laughs> oh. yes, just to make sure. Um, so we've got comedy night coming up, Saturday the 18th of November. Um, there's uh, some pictures looking a bit like that lurking at the back of church. And um, next to the one on there, there's a QR code. The, all the tickets are online via, via event, event, Eventbrite. So, if you would like a ticket, uh, then either go online via a via a it's better via Eventbrite, or uh, if you think that that sounds a bit tricky, find somebody who can help you. Uh, and <laughs> that's the sorry. It is very easy. Yes, yes, but 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 for some people, tech is. A challenge and so so yes so so talk to Susan she's volunteer <laughs> 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 anyway.
Excellent. Um, so there was that. Uh, then two other things. Uh, today we, we're, we're around All Saints Sunday, um, and we just remember those we've loved and lost. Uh, and so if you particularly come uh, doing that this morning, uh, our thoughts and prayers with you, um, and just that opportunity to, to pause. And so as we come through this worship today, then, then remembering those uh, we appreciated uh, who are no longer with us, um, and it may be that, uh, that uh, you just want to take a pause at the end, and in which case just um, to, to come to the front, um, sit on the front row for a bit, take a moment's quiet uh, as, as busyness happens behind you, uh, and meet with God in that time. Uh, also, we will have prayer ministry during our worship, uh, during the communion time. So if you'd like just to have a moment of prayer with somebody, then there's an opportunity to do that. Uh, and thirdly on that, um, this afternoon between 2 and 3 at Emmanuel Church Centre, there'll be opportunity just to, to uh, have a short service or a time of pause there. So if that would be something that you'd like to take uh, um, use of, make use of, then that's available too. Thank you. Thanks, Sam. Uh, I've only just remembered this, so I managed to find the uh, notice in my bag. Um, it's on the 18th of November. It's uh, Renew um, at St Mary's Church, Rottenstall, and we're having um, it's a day there from 10 till 3.30, and it's called Crowned with Love and Compassion, and it's always such a wonderful time um, there. So... Um, Put it in your diaries. I know there's other things going on on that day, but uh, it's really valuable uh, time together if you can make it. Uh, if you want help with lifts, then come speak to me. Thank you. And sorry, gents, that's for ladies only. <laughs> that's a ladies only event, and they're absolutely brilliant. Okay, let's um, carry on now. I think we've got some words on the screen. Coming up. So the Lord be with you. Let us worship God. And we're going to do that now by with singing of two songs. Please stand if you're able. Christ through every age, 
to come and to sing praises to you and um, to hear your word and to learn more about you today in freedom and safety. For this we give you thanks. Amen. Please do sit. Um, I have missed out already this morning the Bible series animation. David, do you think we, do you think we could have that now before our confession, please? in a little bit and we're going to come to our confession now so just a moment of quiet as we think back on the past days and think of those things that we want to say sorry to God for so let us return to the Lord our God and say to him 
Father, we have sinned against heaven and against you. We are not worthy to be called your children. We turn to you again. Have mercy on us. Bring us back to yourself as those who once were dead, but now have life through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may the Father forgive us by the death of his Son and strengthen us to live in the power of the Spirit all our days. Amen. And the Church's prayer for today, for the fourth Sunday before Advent, it's God of glory, touch our lips with the fire of your Spirit, that we with all creation may rejoice to sing your praise through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We're going to have um, our Bible reading by video again this morning. You will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes on you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria and to the ends of the earth. On the day of Pentecost, 120 of Jesus' followers were gathered in Jerusalem. Suddenly, a sound like the blowing of a violent wind came from heaven and filled the whole house where they were sitting. They saw what seemed to be tongues of fire that separated and came to rest on each of them. All of them were filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in other tongues as the Spirit enabled them. Peter then stood up and preached a message about Jesus to a large crowd that gathered. When the people heard this, they were cut to the heart and said to Peter and the other apostles, Brothers, what shall we do? Peter replied, Repent and be baptised, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the forgiveness of your sins. And you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Those who accepted his message were baptised, and about 3,000 were added to their number that day. This was the birthday of the Christian church. They devoted themselves to the apostles' teaching and to fellowship to the breaking of bread and to prayer. They broke bread in their homes and ate together with glad and sincere hearts, praising God and enjoying the favour of all the people. And the Lord added to their number daily those who were being saved. Soon the early Christians faced persecution. Peter and John were arrested after a paralysed man was healed, but they refused to stop sharing the good news. The Jewish authorities commanded them not to speak or teach at all the name of Jesus. But Peter and John replied, which is right in God's eyes, to listen to you or to God? You be the judges. As for us, we cannot help speaking about what we have seen and heard. After further threats, they let them go. On their release, Peter and John went back to their own people and reported all that the chief priests and the elders had said to them. When they heard this, they raised their voices together in prayer to God. After they prayed, the place where they were meeting was shaken, and they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and spoke the word of God boldly. Soon, one of the worst persecutors became a believer in Jesus. As Saul neared Damascus on his journey, suddenly a light from heaven flashed around him. He fell to the ground and heard a voice say to him, Saul, Saul, why do you persecute me? Soon Saul became known as the Apostle Paul. He travelled across the known world, sharing the good news of Jesus Christ with non-Jewish people. For example, in Ephesus in modern-day Turkey, Paul took the disciples and had discussions daily in the lecture hall of Tyrannus. This went on for two years, so that all the Jews and Greeks who lived in the province of Asia heard the word of the Lord. Christian leaders also wrote letters to churches scattered across the known world. In one of them, Paul declared, For I am not ashamed of the gospel, 
because it is the power of God that brings salvation to everyone who believes, first to the Jew, then to the Gentile. So there you have it. Good news. Spreading out like wildfire across the world. Um, I wonder whether any of you have sort of joined the sort of club type thing. One of the ones where, where they send you a, a, a weekly or a monthly um, magazine or anything like that. No? Not happened? One or two? Lego club, anyone? Very expensive. Glorious way of getting a little bit of Lego each week and eventually you have enough to build a house. No? One. A bird magazine. Has it have exciting things in it? Wild times. Wild. Wild. <laughs> and is it really exciting when it comes? <gasps> what do you think? <laughs> Bright smiles, glorious. Um, so, so uh, I suppose that, that sort of sense of, of joining a club, you, you, well, let's imagine for a moment that science was your thing, just for this possibility. Um, and you've been given a gift membership. And each week, there comes another new exciting instalment of something you can do at home. Oh, it just so happens I brought one of them along with me this morning. So, here we go, in the club. Uh, oh, bicarbonate of soda. Whew. Horrible stuff. Why would you want that? I don't know. Strange white powder. Right, okay, so we got that. We got a funnel. What could possibly go wrong, you might ask? Tell you what we're going to do. We're going to put this white powdery bicarbonate of soda stuff into a balloon. This might be difficult. Tell you what we're going to do. Yeah, that's better. Just checking. Making sure that balloon's a good balloon. Wouldn't do work with a duff balloon, would it? The trouble is with these things where you, you get the instructions, they say, they tell you what to do and you think, yeah, I'm sure I know what to do about this, I'm sure that it's going to be nice and easy, I'm sure, I, I'm sure there's not going to be any problems at all along the way. But then when it comes to it, somehow, things don't quite go exactly according to plan. So we need to get this white powder inside the balloon. Is that going to work? Is it really going to work? I'm not convinced by this at all. What do you reckon? Fair enough, it does go inside the balloon. Yeah, good. Right, next. Vinegar. Vinegar. Vinegar in a bottle. I've got a bottle. Miserable. No longer a water bottle, it's just a bottle. There we go. Bottle. Vinegar. Mm. I've been bitten by this before. It's got a little hole in the top. So you think, I know, I'll squeeze it hard in order to get the vinegar to come out. And what happens? is that little piece there comes out and you get vinegar everywhere. I know this, because I've done it before. So I'm not being fooled again. <laughs> right, vinegar. Pour that into there. Everyone, chips? Who likes chips? Yeah, great. Uh, if you've got the chips, I've got the vinegar. <laughs> oh, no. Never mind. Not today. Right, so we've got that. We've got our, our balloon. And we've put the balloon on top of the vinegar. That's it. Huh. That looks good. <coughs> Tell you what. What happens if we stick it a bit more sort of uprightish? Does that work better? Yeah. And the powder comes out of the balloon and falls into the vinegar. And that's about that. And what's happening to my balloon? The balloon's 
growing. Isn't that amazing? So there we go. So we put some bits together, give it a good shake, and it produces bubbles, and the balloon blows up. There we go. Very exciting. And so now, once you've done that, you think, excellent, just what I always wanted. One balloon full of interesting gunk. I'm going to tie a knot in that and, and let the, uh, the tray of interesting chemicals over there carry on producing something horrible. Right. Good. You might ask, why? What's the point? Paul, why are you blowing up balloons and making a mess? And remind me of the fact that we haven't got chips. Well, as we think about this birthday of the church, it's a bit like joining a club. And joining a club in which something good comes, and not only comes once a week, but comes every day when we come to meet the God. Who wants a balloon? A balloon? Yeah. Uh, I, I do warn you, it's, it's, it's a bit smelly. Anyone want it? Yeah, Maggie. What could possibly go wrong? Um, my only request is please don't pop it. <laughs> there we go. Balloon. Um, and the other thing with that balloon, so not only is, it, is that sort of, some sort of sense of science club and it's something exciting happening and um, things to do at home, well, yeah, all of that, what we find on the day of Pentecost is the Holy Spirit comes and blows up uh, the church, fills us with spirit in a way that is, is really good news. Uh, and uh, so we find various bits in the Bible. I had a clicker thing. Where did I leave that? Over there. Excellent. You might gather that everything is perfectly organized this morning. Click. Turn it on. Click. Turn it on and wait for a moment. Click. That's better. Ha <laughs> ha! Spirit and community. Yes, that's what we're thinking about. Uh, we've got uh, number one, two, three, four, fifth little bubble on there, which is the sixth of our talks. Go figure. Um, first one was an introduction. And John 14 says this I will ask the Father, and he will give you another advocate to help you and be with you forever, the Spirit of truth. Jesus bringing his Spirit into our lives by his power. This is good news. Um, and so in Acts chapter 2, uh, we find this wonderful moment. The whole church is gathered. Well, I say the whole church is gathered. Actually, all of Jerusalem is gathered with people coming for a festival. The festival is the Feast of Weeks. It's the one which they celebrate the law being given to Moses on Sinai. So the word of God comes. And into this moment, the Holy Spirit comes and gives God's word to his disciples so that they can talk in different languages to anybody who has gathered. The amazing good news of Jesus being there alongside and with them. And so we remember, God, you are toi aimé le monde, qui l'a donné son fils unique, afin que quiconque croit en lui ne périsse point, mais qu'il aurait la vie éternelle. C'est bon, hein? Quoi? Comment? At least three people in the room understood. There's good news. Um, and that good news of Jesus coming into the world, bringing his son, uh, helping us to have life forever through him, uh, came and was spread to the whole of Jerusalem, gathered together. The whole Jewish people gathered together for that festival. Uh, and along with that, this amazing sense of power uh, and um, of, of these, these words coming for these disciples. Uh, and so the Holy Spirit does all sorts of different things. Uh, but one of the things we remember is about, um, it, Paul describes in Galatians, the, the Spirit bringing fruit into our lives, good things that sort of grow in our lives because the Holy Spirit is there. Um, so I brought a fruit bowl as a reminder. <laughs> That's it. Uh, <laughs> and it says that the fruit of the Spirit is... Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Got that? Good. The fruit of the Spirit is... 
Okay, slowly, slowly. The fruit of the Spirit is, number one, love. love. We got this, who's remembered love? Who's small and can remember love for me? Can you remember love? Anybody? Yes, hooray! A willing volunteer. Love. Joy is the next one. We've got this. Love, joy. I I'm going to get you to remember this, That's the, because these are, these are really good things to remember, of the things which God works in us, but also the things which we need every day. Love, joy, peace. Oh, that's good. I can relax now. <laughs> Are you waiting for the next one? <laughs> patience, good. Um, <laughs> love, joy, peace, patience. Patience. <coughs> kindness. Who likes kindness? Ooh, quite a lot of hands. Who likes grumpy people? <laughs> Less hands up. So, when there's a choice of how to behave, which one do you think we should go for? Hmm. Who likes kindness? Yes! We're going for kindness. Good. Um, so, love, joy. Somebody remember joy for me. Joy. We had love over there, didn't we? Joy. Who's doing peace? Can you do peace? Peace. 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 Pa patience. Patience. Next one, too. I'm just going to remind myself to, to help you along. Oh, goodness. My goodness. Uh, who's been good today? Two of you, well done. Uh, congratulations on the two of you who have been good today. The rest of us need a little bit of help in this, don't we? The Holy Spirit comes and gives us help to be good. This is good news. Good news to be good. So, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness. What was next? Goodness. Yes, goodness. Faithfulness. Keeping close to God. Keeping... Um, in step with God. We'll come to that in a minute. Keeping uh, in a place of uh, remembering God's love for us and his work in our lives. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, and self-control. That was it. Who's oh, forgotten gentleness? Oh. So, have you all got this yet? Do you think? What will we start off with? Gentleness and self-control. Marvellous. Against such things there is no law. Love, joy, peace. Joy is looking a little like sort of over exuberant lemon at the top. I'm not quite sure why, but anyway. <laughs> Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Uh, and Paul says, against such things, there is no law. There is nothing that stops us from doing these things every step of the day, every moment of our lives. And these are the things that the Holy Spirit works in us because he wants us to be the people we can be, to be the people who reach out to God, but also reach out to those around us. <coughs> um, there's one or two babies around. Can, can, um, uh, can any, any, any mums remember what, what baby's first sound was? Not first word. <laughs> wow! You weren't expecting that, were you? <sighs> From the moment we're born, we have this, this way of expressing ourselves which says, I want something. Uh, and it's a cry out. It's a cry out for relationship. Uh, often it's a cry out for something physical as well when it comes to babies. But also it's a cry out that God would be part of our lives and be related to us. 
That's good news. And, um, and so the Holy Spirit brings us to this place of being able to talk to God, meet with God, know God. Uh, we have a, a, a thing which we do as a family sometimes called the 30 mile an hour walk. Who can walk at 30 miles an hour? What? None of you? One. Hooray! <laughs> Uh, 30 miles an hour is quite a fast speed to be walking at. Our 30 mile an hour walk is not actually walking at 30 miles an hour, you might be glad to know, but rather walking to the 30 mile an hour sign at one end of the village, then walking back to the 30 mile an hour sign at the other end of the village, and then walking home again. 30 mile an hour, walk, done, excellent. So, um, off we go on this walk, and I often find that other people are miles ahead of me as we start, I can't, I can't give up. You'll have to slow down a bit. That's how we start off the walk. By the time we've finished, I'm sort of carrying on at the same speed as usual. And for some reason, they're sort of very, very lying behind. Should this be a thing? Hmm, not sure. Since we live by the Spirit, let us keep in step with the Spirit, is this verse. Sorry, there we go. Um, and it's about keeping the same pace as each other. We're born to come to a place of meeting with God, but also to be within God in community. Uh, and that means looking at the people around us and looking for ways of walking alongside each other at the same speed, but also listening to God and trying to do things at his speed rather than ours. Well, that's quite important. Uh, and so in Acts 2, it says that the apostles devoted themselves to the apostles' teaching, listening to the word of God, to fellowship, talking with each other, sharing with each other's lives, to the breaking of bread, taking communion, we're going to do that in a minute, and to prayer. Everyone was filled with awe at the many wonders and signs performed by the apostles. All the believers were together and had everything in common. They sold property and possessions to give to anyone who had need. Every day they continued to meet each other and meet together in the temple courts. They broke bread in their homes, ate together with glad and sincere, sincere hearts. It was going well. And then persecution came. Now these are, what are they? Giant redwoods, they are trees. Um, I haven't got the top of the tree, uh, I've got the bottom of the tree. You see the little man by the bottom of the tree? Do we think that might be quite a big tree? Yes, yes. Okay. The quirky thing about giant redwood trees, or sequoias, as they're also known, is that they have quite shallow roots. So what, what, what bit do you think makes the tree stay in the ground? Is it the, the branches or the roots? The roots, excellent. So big trees, shallow roots. How's this going to work? And the answer, it turns out, is that they have shallow roots but they intertwine them with the trees next to them. And I think that that is a glorious picture, an image, of what the church can be. Imagining that you're one of those trees. You're not sure whether you're going to be able to make it all by yourself, but with other people around you, keeping you grounded, helping you to stay strong, you can stand some really big winds and blasts and things. And that's exactly the way the trees work, but it's also the way we work as a church. We look after each other, and in that building together, in that building community, in that finding God at work in us and through us, then all good things happen. So there you go. Um, and in Christ, there is neither Jew nor Gentile, neither slave nor free, and there's not male or female, for you are all one in Christ Jesus. Glorious. Um, bringing us together. So I'm going to stop there. Because you remember about those, don't you? Yes? Good. Fruit of the Spirit is Faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Hooray! Good at this. 
Uh, keep on trying to work on remembering that one. I'll test you next week, uh, and you can test me. I usually miss one out, so you'll be able to work out which one it is. Uh, <laughs> um, and shall we pray? Father God, thank you that you call us together to be part of your club, to see good things happen, to see your spirit blowing us up, filling us in a way that helps us to live for you and in your world. Lord, help us today to know your peace and presence, your goodness, faithfulness, joy, and love. Uh, and Lord, in all these things, that you would change us. Lord, helping us to be people who live for those around us and live for you. That you would be glorified, that you would be made known, and that your kingdom would grow. We ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Are you excited? Not really. Pity. Because... The Holy Spirit and being church is the most amazing, exciting thing that you can get. So uh, I just want to encourage you with this word. <sighs> get excited, be excited, be encouraged. Being church is good news. So, right, uh, what's next? Creed, responsive. Thank you. Good. Um, as we gather today, we gather as the people of God. Uh, as you look around you, you can see some of those people... Um, but we're part of two billion people around the world and countless more across time and history. Uh, and so, do you believe and trust today in God the Father, source of all being and life, the one for whom we exist? We believe and trust in him. Do you believe and trust in God the Son, who took our human nature, died for us and rose again? We believe and trust in him. Do you believe and trust in God the Holy Spirit, who gives life to the people of God and makes Christ known in the world? We believe and trust in him. This is the faith of the church. This is our faith. We believe and trust in one God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. We're going to sing. Good.
Shall we sit down? As we come together today, it's good to be able to meet with God in all sorts of different ways. Uh, and one of the things we love to do when we gather together is to pray. We pray that God will be with us. We pray that God will work in our hearts, in our lives, in our situations. Uh, and we ask that God would um, build us up and challenge us new things. Uh, and so um, we are going to pray now. So if you'd like to have a, have a sit down for a minute, I think... Probably a, probably a wise plan. So my first question is this. I, I said, who was excited? Um, as we come to that place of doing community, what are the things that you're really happy about today? Anyone? Back row. Sunshine! Yay! Anything else we're happy about today? Life! Life! Life, life sunshine, we're, we're doing well, big, big themes. Gee. Family. Family, very important. People around us, particularly when life is interesting and difficult at times. God's love, amazing. Friends! Okay, so what we're going to do is just take a moment. Um, see the people close to you. Um, just say a prayer uh, and, and think of those people. Think of the things we thought about as we say thank you to God. So just a moment's quiet. You can pray for them. You can pray out loud. You can pray quietly. And so, Father, we thank you for all these good things, all these good people, all the different things around us. Well, we pray that you would give us thankful hearts for good things and keep close to you. Amen. Second, what are we a bit sad about? What's a bit difficult? What's challenging today? That's a harder one to share out now, perhaps. Sorry, say again. The Far East. The Far East. So situations where there's conflict in the world. There. Ukraine still. That's difficult places. There's more of them as well. Anything else that's difficult and challenging? Injuries. Sorry? Injuries. Injuries. When you thought everything was going well and then suddenly you find that you can't do what you wanted to do and... Yeah, yes. People who are ill, particularly people close to us. Yeah. Sad memories. And I said we like community with those roots that intertwine. And so I wonder whether you could pray for somebody else um, in the room. Look around, spot somebody. Maybe somebody you know, maybe somebody you don't know. And pray for them now. And so, Father, when there are things which are difficult and sad, Lord, we pray that you will be alongside us. Lord, help us to know your peace and your presence, your spirit at work. And Lord, help us as a church to care for those uh, in our fellowship and those around us in community. Lord, that you would be glorified in all that we do and say. Amen. So things we're thankful for and are good, things we're sad about and are difficult. Um, and perhaps something that we would like to see happen. What do you hope for? Church. 
people to come and join together and hear of God's love. Yep. And even more, even <laughs> yeah, an even distribution of food around the world, so that the people who have, so that people aren't hungry. That's a good thing. Things to hope for. Maggie. Peace in the world. Father, we thank you for all these things. We pray that you would be at work by your spirit through your people to build up your kingdom, to build your, your church, and to see good things happen in our world. So Lord, we pray for those six situations we uh, ask you to be at work in, that you would uh, be bringing hope and life throughout this world. We ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Right. Peace. Next. Um, Jesus came to bring peace to those near, peace to those far off. And so today, may the peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you. Uh, might share together a sign of that peace with a kiss, a hug, or a handshake, depending or a wave, depending on how friendly you feel to people around you. Time for coffee afterwards, and, and enduring coffee, do have more conversations and chats. Um, be good to catch up with people, and to remember being community together. If you'd like to find your way back to your chairs, uh, feel free to stand as we come to our Eucharistic prayer, and I need a Tim, I think, and some musicians. Sorry, sorry, that, 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 be careless. Some singers as well, yes. No, no, Tim. Oh, well. <laughs> Keep on chatting for a minute. Um, singers do sing. Singers are going to come and sing. Uh, we're going to do Eucharistic prayer interspersed with um, our next hymn, which is Behold the Lamb. So there we go. So as we gather, the Lord is here. His spirit is with us. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. Almighty God, good Father to us all, your face is turned towards your will. In love you gave us Jesus, your son, to rescue us from sin and death. Your word goes out to call us home, to the city where angels sing we all praise. And we join with them in heaven's song as we say, Holy, holy, holy Lord. God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. And so, Father of all, we give you thanks for every gift that comes from heaven. To the darkness, Jesus came as your light. With signs of faith and words of hope, he touched untouchables with love and washed the guilty clean. And so we sing.
crowds came out to see your son, yet at the end they turned on him. On the night that he was betrayed, he came to table with his friends to celebrate the freedom of your people. Jesus blessed you, Father, for the food. He took bread, gave thanks, broke it, and said, This is my body, given for you all. Jesus then gave thanks to the wine. He took the cup, gave it, and said, This is my blood shed for you all for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in remembrance of me. that Jesus taught his disciples to say, as we say, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. And so we break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body because we all share in one bread. And so draw near with faith. Receive the body of our Lord Jesus Christ which he gave you and his blood which he shed for you. Eat and drink in remembrance that Christ died for you and feed on him in your hearts by faith with thanksgiving. Amen. As we come to communion today, if you normally have communion in your home church, wherever that is, then please do come and take bread and wine. If you would rather just take um, bread in these days of um, germs and things, then that's quite all right. Uh, if you're doing that and otherwise would like, there's some little cups of juice over there as a reminder of Jesus' love for us uh, and which all can take part in. Um, and uh, if you would just re prefer to have a, a prayer of blessing, 
Uh, if you keep your hands down as you come to me, then I'll be pleased and privileged to pray for you a short prayer of blessing. But I did mention that before, but um, if there's something which is on your heart and mind you'd like to pray for, then that will be uh, at the back during the meeting.
And so a prayer. We say together. Almighty God, we thank you for feeding us with the body and blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him we offer you our souls and bodies to be a living sacrifice. Send us out in the power of your Spirit to live and work to your praise and glory. Amen. Amen. And we're going to um, sing again. Uh, last song today is Build Your Kingdom Here uh, as we pray for God's uh, spirit to be at work in us and through us in this place, but also as we go out into the world as a scattered church during the week. which passes all understanding. Keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. With the blessing of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit be with you now and always. Amen. Uh, and so there'll be tea and coffee at the back, but after you've done that, go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Christ. Amen. Amen. Thank you.